So when you do this sort of vector embeddings and retrieval augmented generation with for your for your LLM, if you're working with an LLM in your company, it's very useful to find, let's say you're building a chatbot for people to just ask, oh, what is your refund policy? Well, it will very easily give them a response based on your data. And even in the very basic term, if you're using tr traditional retrieval augmented generation, you can tell the the LLM that when it's doing the query, if it didn't get any results back to just say, I don't know. And that's that's one of the pluses, right? So just starting out, if you do that, then when it doesn't find something, it might just say, I don't know. And that's perfect because now you're a step further than just talking with one that might just make stuff up. So again, in business, you might have a chatbot, you might have a voice agent, some other things, and you want to make sure that the data is grounded on truth, specifically your truth <laughs> from your knowledge base, from your company.